It's time. That's right. Welcome to The New Order. Uh, the New Order is probably one of the most unique and ambitious mods for Hearts of Iron 4 that I have been greatly requested to do for the longest time. And baby, I'm here. So is that woman with the storm cover. That's right, everyone. Welcome to 1962. Look what they did to my baby. Yeah. Uh, Russia's just, uh, it's not looking too good. It's also got this guy's really horny grandpa, uh, but we're gonna get to that guy a different day. Uh, now if you can't tell, this might be a world where Joni actually did quite well in World War II. Not sure if, uh, you're getting that vibe, but, uh, it's kind of evident. Uh, even in a world where the Axis won World War II, the Italians didn't get much of it and thought to themselves, well, if no one's actually gonna give me a land in this piece still, I guess I'll just make my own, apparently. Now, as I said, this is a mod that is trying to build a very in-depth world with a lot of storytelling, and I'm not kidding when I say they've actually put a lot of a lot of effort in specifically to the actual ongoing events so you really need to sit back and kind of not play it like hearts of iron 4 and kind of get really into it now for us this part of the mod actually takes place in the scope of africa because this is actually a demo for the full version of the mod um there has been a previous one which took place over here in russia but i feel like i want to get the most up-to-date version and uh, that is this one where we're gonna go ahead we're gonna have some fun in South Africa. All right, everyone. Get your reading glasses on. Back to Gangster Wall, the dominion of South Africa carefully slinks across the narrow tightrope of international diplomacy. I see someone has a very good English degree. Or just a thesaurus, really. Speaking words of liberty to Washington and whispering promises of segregation to the right. The battle for South Africa rages both abroad and at home. The nation is a paradox in and it of itself. A dominion with no monarch, the minority governing the majority Prime Minister de Graaf, who will be playing, have carefully placed his opponents against each other in order to maintain the shaky stability of his party. The United Party! Uh, we're soon gonna learn that, uh, this, this isn't really true. It's not that united. The Dominion truly does walk the tightrope, cautiously appeasing all fronts. The conflict of the Cape is quickly becoming an inevitability. Prime Minister de Graaf must keep the country on the straight and narrow for if South Africa to slip from the high wire. God only knows where she- well, it, it, it'll land right in the middle of Germany by the looks of Africa right now. So we uh, we have a uh, little to-do list here, or I guess, I guess just what we can do in the moment, which is explore the gifts exposed by the De Beers with uh, diamond mining, balance foreign influence and profit as you attempt to maintain trade with the pact and sway the upcoming election in your favor. All the things I'm ready to do. So uh, first thing in the game is that we do have a economy. That's right, everyone. It's stonks time. Now... There is one glaring issue, uh, because it's the first time I'm showing off this mod, I didn't feel right getting another mod that fixes this, is that, um, the UI. Now, just as it is right here looking, it's not that bad. Uh, in fact, it's, it's, it's alright, I actually quite like the aesthetic, but the problem I have, is as soon as we go ahead and go into production, kind of burns my eyeballs a little bit. Um... It's just a bit too intense. Uh, there's a lot of information that's very easily accessible when the colors aren't all the same. Uh, it's very neon. I'm not entirely, I'm not a big designer. Um, I, I, uh, I don't do graphic art or anything like that, but I do know that this is really hard to distinguish anything from. Now, last time I played this, the tech was also, yeah, it's not the best. Um, I know they're trying to go for an aesthetic and all, but I, I really feel like they definitely need to have another mod that just turns this off. Uh, it, it, it's really just, it, it, it's not good. So, uh, I don't know if you ever played this game called Minecraft, but boy are we in for some Minecraft in today. My name's Sir DeVillers Graf, and uh, I've got a, quite a few things going on in my country. Most importantly, the fact that it is going to hell in every single way. But, my friends, what I do have is a whole supply of diamonds, which I can hopefully bribe the world to go ahead and, you know, do one. Now, for uh, my situation in the world down here in South Africa, we are kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, that being the Unity Pack, which is a successful uh, Axis victory over Europe. And, uh, well, as you can see, they kind of got me cornered. It's, uh, it's kind of the Unity Pact or the sea at the moment. Uh, now, the quote-unquote allies still exist. You know, they never got America. <laughs> they never got America. 
Uh, oh, baby. We got ourselves Richard Nixon. Uh, look at that. He's literally rolling his eyes already. Probably just at the fact he has to deal with so many Germans in the world. Am I right, guys? Uh, there he is. There's the old man. Uh... Won't be around for too long, though. So, we do have a mighty fine nation. Uh, we got a lot of positions coming up. We do have an army. Uh, not, not really the best army. Got a lot of low lamp manpower. I'm assuming we don't have a lot of equipment, which is... I wish I could tell you, but I'm, I'm not too sure what's actually going on in this menu. So, I'm just going to assume we don't have much of an equipment stockpile. Uh, something interesting we do have is actually a fleet, which I imagine we've stolen a lot of these from the Allies. In fact, I can already tell you we definitely do because this one's called the SAS Rodney. And only the British would call a ship Rodney. Alright, so we've got a mighty fine selection of 24 diamonds right now. And because I'm in the stonk market right now, we definitely... I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and uh, start doing the ones that give us a bit more diamonds per month. Um, hopefully, we can get a mighty fired selection and the pack displeasure was at 12%. Okay, we, we might have to suck off the Germans a bit. Oh, just think you think you're done with Earth. The Germans are going to the moon. Great! Uh, I mean, uh, congratulations, boys. You, you did well. Yeah, have fun up there. Bitches. Alright, so, first thing on the horizon is that we have a empty throne. One that I would happily go ahead and sit in myself, but unfortunately, I pr I, I, that just probably won't go too well with, uh, I'm assuming, the guys to the north of us. Alright, so Mr. Herzog has gone ahead and had a nice little speech that is uh, essentially the 1962 version of a diss track. Now... I would go ahead and support his dissing of the monarchy, but unfortunately, I don't want the boars in control for the simple fact I feel like they might be a bit more to the, uh, the German side of things, and, uh, also, I get the feeling like, you know, the Graf might be a great monarch. Himself! Look at his mustache, it's very mediocre. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just, you know, put him in front of a judge. And uh, the defendants dark above all we want equal political rights because without them our disabilities will be permanent. I know this sounds revolutionary to the whites in this country because the majority of the voters will be Africans. This makes the white man fear democracy. The man speaking these words is Nelson Man. Oh, okay, yeah, he's... Okay, we'll send him to prison. All right, so it is our time for a referendum on the monarchy. Now, we actually have to go ahead and do some political campaigning to try and go ahead and win people over, and we do actually have some people for the monarchy at the moment, but, uh... Yeah, these guys, uh, unsurprisingly, the people who have kind of been under the foot of the monarchy under the British, uh, uh, but, um, uh, well, they don't like the monarch. Oh, well, someone shy and Smith. Can't say he probably didn't have it coming, but, uh, yeah, I, all of these options go ahead and give me a whole bunch of stability minus. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one that doesn't. For the simple fact, I got five stability. I got four stability. Uh, the government's will write a writer one conclusion. The Burgundians have successfully tested a nuclear device. That's right. No one will inherit the Burgundians again. Uh, but more importantly, down here in South Africa, uh, we're having a bit of a fun time in the fact that we're getting the majority of people on board with the monarchy. Uh, some people bit more stubborn than others. Uh, I'm also doing the historical approach to, uh, you know, a South Africa towards the ANC, which, um, if you don't know, I've already arrested N Nelson Mandela, so, um, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Go also, you know, it could be the free state of Magadan, which is at war with uh, Omelon, you know, they won that war. War is hell. This literally could be in hell, I have no idea what that is. Oh! There they go, he's gone. I'm sure this won't lead to any instability within the Glorious Reich at all. Oh, I appear to have dropped spaghetti all over my last statement. But here we go, here's a big thing with this mod. It is the German Civil War. Who will take over Germany? And we've got a lot of contenders, that's for damn sure. So yeah, we've got like 50 Germanys right now. Uh, the, the actual capital appears to be independent. Whoever wins, I'm assuming, will take that. But we've got ourselves Goring, you know, the man who ate the world. Hey, yeah, he's still alive. Barely. And we, all, we also got Heydrich. Um... I'm not sure how he survived in this scenario, but uh, yeah, he's alive. He's trying to be leader. Uh, we got Borman down here. He's a bald man. Uh, he's what a great guy. And we've also got Spear. Spear, Albert Spear. He's alive. Uh, 
barely. Yeah, a lot of these people are quite old. Now, I'm not too sure who's going to win the Civil War. I've never actually watched it the full way through, but I'm assuming Gimp might be goring. I get the feeling he might have the most support. Borman, maybe. I think Spear's a bit too much of a, you know, pansy. And uh, if you can't tell by Hydric, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a bit of a bastard. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a... Yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. Oh, glad to see in all of the chaos, Donitz has got ahead and seized Crimea. His one little place. <laughs> yeah, after that, uh, well, after that whole, you know, shooting people, I kind of saw this one might be coming. Okay, micro around the boars wasn't that much of a problem, but then the Africans, well, <laughs> they revolted, and the Germans, then they declared war too, so we're in a bit of a pickle. All right, it's, ki it's kind of gamey, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to send our motorized divisions as far into the enemy land as we can and hope for uh, just a, a just a quick surrender for them. Uh, we, we need to knock off enemies one by one here. Oh, my God, this might be the messiest war I have ever had in a Hearts of Iron 4 game, as you can tell by the front lines right now. Whoa, we're, we're deep behind enemy lines everywhere. Okay, thank the Lord. We, th we might be able to stabilize us a bit. Okay, from what I can tell, uh, the Germans over here, I'm assuming because of their incredibly weak father state, is, um, well, there, uh, there's not a lot of units, I can tell you that. There's a few, like, uh, boar ones over here, but I think we might outnumber them, because I've been going ahead and spending my diamonds on the orange militias, which has given me quite a few units to work with. Uh, meanwhile, we are, uh, doing our magic on the Americans, and, <laughs> well, they're tr we're trying to get them on board okay because uh if it's me against germany i'd quite like some american support yeah also the uh, whole civil war thing well it's borman and goring uh yeah speer yeah he didn't last too long at all it's a fierce one uh the bush is definitely very harsh on us and uh under the leadership of mr graf we are doing ourselves a very fine job of pushing back the hun menace but unfortunately for us even with our american support german civil war has actually ended we got ourselves a Borman in charge. Oh, now, Mr. Uncle Sam, I gotta give myself a, uh, thank you very much for this one. A ceasefire? I think not, for I have nothing to lose because my country is, well, it's in the shitter. Right, I think we are getting them on the ropes now. It has been a constant back and forward of just encircling the AI everywhere I possibly can, which has been going all right for the most part. I am essentially just playing chess with a machine and the machine i'm playing chess against thinks it's playing checkers so uh yeah we're doing all right now we have loads and loads of options to go ahead and get a bunch of support from the americans which is pretty much the only way i've been getting equipment to actually survive this whole far uh, now that i've capitulated the boars i actually have a nice bit of manpower to actually work with but right now you can't tell we really need guns you know i'm seeing a complete lack of enemy units now so i think it is time for our great Grand offensive. The South African people are tired of Germans. The war is won. A bold new future awaits us as we have liberated South Africa from the German menace and put ourselves a, a nice little ally on the border that we don't have to worry about anymore. That's right. Go suck one. Uh, of course, you might be wondering exactly what the South Africans paid for this freedom. Well, it was pretty much everyone in our country, if you can't tell. Uh, we got no guns left. We got nothing left, really. Uh, we do have... A nice bit of land and a very stable, c not very stable country. And that is actually it for our focus tree and the mod. Well, the demo of the mod for us today. We have brought South Africa to victory under our great leader, Mr. Sir Deville Graf. Uh, I, I don't know how to actually pronounce that, but uh, Mr. Graf did well obviously in the greater scope of the mod i'm assuming there will obviously be some sort of kaiser reich-esque scenario where the remaining of the allies uh will actually try and come back and liberate europe because i did notice uh england actually got free again so yeah, there's, there is quite a few things that are going to be going on and i can't wait to see what the full product is actually like and uh, because the demos are actually on different scopes so uh, there was one on russia over here and there was one in south africa i would like to think that uh, these little conflicts would all add up to a big conflict for retaking europe or something like that i think that's going to be an incredibly good uh, good thing to do and i think it's gonna have so much replayability because this was Oh, it was super intense. <laughs> there was a lot of micro, and uh, it was very sweaty, constantly clicking buttons to give the Americans, uh, give me uh, more guns, which, uh, 
if you can see, I used every single last one of them. This is the new order mod. I'm pretty sure, I think it might actually be releasing next month. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that one, but I did hear a rumor going around that that's when it might be coming out. And, uh... Yeah, there is so much going on, there is so much lore in this mod, and loads of uh, story building to go on. I highly recommend you check it out if you're interested in a different scenario, and a bit more of a, uh, you know, a different, different way to uh, play Hoi Uh Very much, very, very, very different. But yes, uh, without a doubt I will be checking out the full mod at some point, whenever it comes out. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know any more weird mods that I have not checked out uh, that you want to see on this channel. Until next time, from me and the Great Union of South Africa, under the leadership of Sir Villiers Graf. Uh, well, our country's pretty crap. But we do have more crap now. And like 50 more problems. <laughs>